Hey, how's it going y'all? I'm trying to show you how to make some uh, feed for the peacock chicks or even chicken uh, chicks um, because I had to put the uh, the pea chick with the ma hen mama in a separate coop <clears throat> cage because the other chicken were attacking the baby ch uh, pea chick. So I have to make now because since mama cannot show how to how to eat from the forest from the outside uh, since they're in the cage I'm gonna make the starter feed for the pea chick and the mama myself it's very easy to make it's very cheap and you already have already have the ingredients you know so you can see I have a high protein livestock feed it's very cheap right right there for the 50 pound bag it's like $12 or $14 and then that is half the other half is cat food Cat food is high protein and that's what the pea chicken needs when they're young is high protein. The carnivorous uh, kind of uh, birds, pe uh, peacocks are. So that is a good blend. It gives them some uh, fiber and uh, kind of uh, plant-based nutrition and some meat-based meat -based nutrition. Cat food has a lot of meat in there, the dried cat food. So everything combined. You can feed them for a while. You just make this much. It's almost like a gallon or so. You put it in a blender. So I'm going to show you. I just put it in a blender. I have a ninja blender. So I can't. I cannot uh, hold and do it. I need to both hands. So I need to. I need to place this camera. Hold on. All right, so this is my Ninja Blender. It's going to be loud, so. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect, just small enough bite so chick, the chick can eat it and the mama can eat it too. You can see how nicely the cat food has blended with the high protein uh, livestock feed. And I'll try uh, the rest of them. Let's do it here. good okay okay the 
let's mix it up a little bit and the peach egg is not uh, too small so it, uh, they are usually a bigger bird than a than a chicken chick so they will eat a little bit even if it's a little big they'll eat it they'll be fine as long as they don't choke you know that's what I'm trying to do is make sure they don't choke on anything but I have fed them this size it's fine they, they know they grow in the wild I mean they're from they scavenge in the wild so they know what not to eat naturally so you don't have to worry too much about it as long as they have something small to eat they'll, they'll pick their size and and figure it out from there they are great survivors they know how to survive they're very smart right so smart enough to uh, to take care of the take care of things they know how to eat you know they're very independent they also know when to get to the mama all right so now let's go and fill up the fill up the feed Uh, this is apple cider vinegar just for mixing up with the water so whenever the peach egg needs some water that will contain apple cider vinegar which is very good for them uh, very healthy in the water so you just uh, add just a little bit it doesn't have to be accurate a little bit just enough uh, you know so it, it doesn't taste too bad for the chick but just enough so that they they can get the health benefits very healthy for the chicks so this is my feeder for the chick make sure it's dry and clean enough so make sure it's dry and then you fill it up you fill up that feeder like that all right so then it's time once you fill it up i need both hands so i can't show everything but once you fill it up, you just put them in their cage and they should be good to go. All right. I'm going to take a second video. So I'm going to show you the setup. All right. Take care.